Welcome to the show. I'm Mel Robbins. Today we're asking, can these marriages be saved? I just heard a nope. Wow, where are my optimists in the audience? All right. Well, that's why I picked this quote. Don't force together pieces that don't fit. Yeah. Up first, a wife and a husband who have been separated for six months, but they still live in the same house. He wants to work it out, and she's tired of fighting about his former infidelity. Dale and I have been married for three years. After two years of marriage, I started to feel a strain between us. Dale started to become distant, and I started to feel unwanted. I also found out that he had been unfaithful when I found pictures of other women in his phone. And it's really taken a toll on my self-esteem. I was more confident and assertive when we got married. I feel like I've lost myself in our marriage. For the past six months, we've been separated and living together. I live upstairs with the kids, and he lives downstairs on the couch. We wanted to see where we were at with a little bit of distance and see if we can possibly reconcile this relationship. I've been taking this separation as a time to really focus on myself. I honestly feel like I might be better off without Dale. I'm not sure if I want to be in this marriage anymore. I have some serious decisions to make, but I've been avoiding having the conversation with Dale, and I really need Mel's help. You look lost in thought. It's an emotional topic. What's coming up for you right now? I can't express myself. Um, I always feel like I was catering to him and his needs, and my needs weren't being met. I feel like an emotional doormat when we're talking. An emotional doormat? Emotional doormat. Um, I don't get to express myself um, without feeling like his opinion's uh, better than my opinion, and I, uh, when I talk about my feelings, it does not matter. How long were you guys married? Three years. Three years, okay. but how long have you known each other? About 10 years. When did you start to feel lost? Just about last year in the holidays, around Thanksgiving. He always gets really emotionally um, separated when it comes to his other children around the holidays. He doesn't get to see him as often, but this time it felt a little different. He was really even more distant. I didn't feel like I could approach him or have a conversation with him. Um, and then Christmas, it got really bad. And you started fighting like crazy. And... Started fighting like crazy. In what other ways has he made you feel unloved or unwanted? I would have to ask to have intimacy or personal, you know, adult business. I would... Adult business? Yeah. What is that? Uh, sex. That's what you call sex? Adult business. Adult business? Adult business, yeah. I mean, I call it sex, but... It's adult business when you have kids in the house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a term that you yeah. use when they're little. When, yes, we oh, got little I ones. Oh, I got it. We need uh -huh. some adult business. We need time for some adult business, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We, yeah. Used to, we always say, um, I need to take a shower, and then you lock the door. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, well, before you two got married, did you know anything about his past relationships? Yeah. Um, he was married prior before me. Um, he has three different children outside of our relationship to three different other women. I knew that he had a player mentality and... A player mentality or a player track record? Track record. So he had cheated yeah. on the other women he had Everybody. Been on everybody? Wow. On everybody, everybody. I almost found it like a challenge for myself to be the person that I know I can make this change because I really felt a fire for him. I had like an urge for him. Well, that's called lust. Yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. Not being able to transform somebody. Right. Because he did cheat on you. Absolutely. How did you find out that he had cheated on you? I was going through his phone. Because you didn't trust him? Absolutely. It was there. It was obvious. Multiple women. Once, once I seen those photos and that punch in the face feeling, um, I had a real wake up call. Um, even though my fear and anxiety had heightened extremely, I, I was ready to, I think is why the fighting started happening more. I was ready to be more verbal and felt like in a, in a defense mode.